What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off what happened last time, well, following on from our Blitzkrieg of the British Isles and putting down the Rebels, we have been slowly but surely expanding in the Americas and creating the Maltese Colonial Empire. <clears throat> so my strategy is going to be two-pronged. Firstly, I want to continue our operation of hopping around the pirate islands and expanding our influence. I also have a force here at Tunis. So my original intention was to send this army against the Ottoman Empire. However, I'm actually tempted to keep them here as a bit of a defensive hedge from the Ottomans. But I actually may build another army up here in London, or in Britain, and actually continue my war against the Swedes. Because that we are still at war with them, they're a valuable and wealthy region, and it serves us no purpose to stir up any more wars than is necessary. And I've also been told, or suggested, that I'm currently trading with France, but I could potentially get trade going between Paris and London get like a trade trade light trade um, route set up here rather than going to my capital I'm not I'm not quite sure how it works um, but first I want to see how who I'm trading with and if I want to annoy them and to be honest I don't really want to annoy them because they're quite it's the Italian states and Genoa they're quite handy Mediterranean nations, so maybe it might be best to actually. Maybe, maybe it'd be the best, it'd be best thing to do, to try and mess around with the trade to optimize it. But to be honest, I'm happy with the trade I'm getting. I know the trade is going to go up. Four more turns till we get um, division of labor, and four more turns till fire by rank. So those would be pretty pretty important technologies. But what I may do... Okay, so what is my strategy going to be? So, in the med. I want to lose... Or I will eventually want to lose Malta. Which means I will move over to our... Which means that my capital will probably move to Tunis. So I probably want Tunis to have a trade port in it. So that the trade routes move and I don't lose all my trade. But I think I don't need don't need the farming here anymore because I've grown all the towns. I mean pop growth will still be a bit fluctuating, will be a bit variable, but I'm not so bothered about that. So when my when the port is built, I will abandon Valletta and hope someone invades it and takes it. And obviously I need to do that because I have no towns in Malta. If I have no towns, I cannot build a modern university, which means no top-tier technologies ever, which is kind of lame. Oh, that's you. Um, okay, but in general, my conversion of the population in North Africa has gone pretty well. I'm now starting to convert London. Somewhere I have a... Do I have a priest here? I don't. No priests here yet, but when they do get generated, I will send them over to Sweden to start to uh, convert them. But let's hit end turn. It's got a spy down into down towards Madrid. I do want to build up a navy. I really do need to build up a navy. But this is the problem. When you've got demands on your empire from all directions, it can be tricky to prioritise. So do I prioritise land armies to respond to the inevitable invasions that will come? Or do I build a navy to attempt to stop these invasions before they land, knowing I may or may not be able to stop them? So it's a bit of a tricky thing. My fallback position is, if you don't know which one to pick, go for the economy. Go for economy spending, so next turn you have more stuff. 
got two steam pumped iron mines which are definitely going to help but I do want to hop over although really okay first let's build this to a trade port Tunis has a I'm getting a reasonable garrison out of Tunis Looking my looking at my uh, financial spending, I can't really afford to have multiple standing armies at this point. So I think I'm going to take Constantino. I can't get him up there in one shot. So let's get him over to Oran. Oh, you're a third rate, aren't you? Let's get the third rate over to Anaba. So next turn, these guys will try to make a sprint towards um, Ireland at the very least. I could probably do with knocking down this major fishery, because again, Algiers does not need the pop growth. And I could build it into a shipyard to build warships. Now I have access to the technologies. Let's drop some more into the new another mine in Algiers. And where was the other mine? England. Uh, England has already been upgraded. It needs steam engines. Don't need drill school yet. Roads are all good. Let's go back over to my colony. Well, not well. Yeah, these are my colonies. But they're replenishing. Let's expand them with another two cavalry. They've got two cavalry. Get another couple of troops. Push on, take Antigua, Trinidad and Tobago, and go capture Guyana. But bear in mind, I do have no real safe haven here. I don't have a large population centre that is ready to support me with arms and all sorts. It's got 1,200 cash left. I may as well spend it. May as well spend it on. Unit of infantry ready for this guy to pop up. I'm probably going to go hit Copenhagen first. Then I might do some amphibious shenanigans and attack the mainland. But one thing's for sure, I will want to... Copenhagen will have a university, which I'll want to destroy and replace with a... You want an alliance, do you? Who are at war with? Prussia, Austria, the Ottomans, nope. I'm content with my limited expansion plans. That's obviously not great. That's not good at all. Well, that army that was going to go to... Uh, obviously the pirates are going to continue doing their thing. So, th so this... It's fairly inevitable. It's not that really not great of an army. Algiers has a big garrison. Let's build this guy into a shipyard, and I want to keep keep these guys on in their ships for now, because I can then rapidly deploy to wherever they land. In which case, then the Swedish invasion plans are on hold somewhat. I may just slowly start building up more men. Curacao has upgraded roads. Set these guys. Oh, they can't recruit, build anything. Recruit some pirates. Get these guys aboard ship. Let's go hit Antigua. I'm just going to demand the surrender. Well, that's not really a fight. Obviously, they don't like it. Exempt them from tax just to stop them from getting too angry too quickly, and let's also destroy the shipyard. Yep, those are the extra troops being recruited here. Curacao's angry, so let's make them. Let's make them. Uh, free. Let's get the galleon over from Jamaica to Curacao so I can send one of these infantry into Kingston. 
to keep all my all of my ports occupied. Portugal and Poland are at war because obviously that makes total sense. Why would they not be? Yeah, the Mughals, are, they're indifferent to us. They don't like our religion. And they don't respect our government types. If they do declare war on us, that'll be a bit sticky because we'd be at war with the, with the Ottomans. But if they do, then the Ottomans will be in a lot of trouble. Maybe. Okay, let's take these militia over to the port as well. There is no need for them to sit in the capital and be killed. If I deploy them out onto the ships, they can respond. Like, if they drop their troops here, I can just run this entire army back and kill them. But I don't want them anywhere I can easily lose them. Fortunately, all my ports are full. Although I could. Okay, let's do, do I take a risk? And do this and see if that entices them entices the Mughals to go for Valletta because obviously that's what I want in the long term oh yeah my general over here got some new traits okay let's hit in turn are they, are they gonna oh I thought the United Provinces might have tried to kill them If they declare on me, I want them to attack Valletta. Because if we can do that, then I will make peace. Yep, fair enough. They're not joined by anyone. So they've deployed off of Algiers. So I can now deploy my army to fight them. <laughs> the pirates are strengthening their blockade, but it's not going to do them any good. Upgrade Antigua's, Antigua's building or repair it. Let's get the the port built being built. Let's upgrade the roads. Let's get some get some more trade goods into production. Tunis has a new port. Sugar plantations, Curacao built, and a college at Oxford has been built. One more turn to get a whole bunch of delicious tech. But for now. in my army and go hit Mir Sin. Let's go take him out. So this is why you need uh, firefighting, firefighter armies in reserve. Because you can't predict what the AI is going to do. The Mughals have no reason to attack me, but they've decided they're going to, so... I'd rather they attack me in North America than in London. Green my guns. Crew punching my infantry together. Keep my marines. Or do I bunch all my marines and grenadiers on one flank? Okay, let's make two... Okay, so I've got my rough formation, and these are going to be my flank companies made up of more elite troops. Cavalry. Go on the right. General in the centre. Artillery's unlimbered. Okay, immediately pivot. a funky terrain. Let's try and entice their cavalry to launch attacks. Camel gunners. Gurkhas. Let's make sure our artillery are engaging useful targets. Uh, you guys may as well just open up on their horsemen. 
run this infantry into position. Open fire on the first Shamal camel gunners. I don't really want to fight them. In fact, I might even pull these this entire wing back. Get these men in a position to shred the incoming Islamic swordsmen and Sikh warriors with musket fire. Everyone just, just fire at will. Engage the camel, engage the cavalry. Hit them with my light. Ooh, are you charging? There's one place I don't want my. Cavalry is fighting camels. Let's get my cavalry out. You guys cease fire. Yeah, they routed. Fair enough. Artillery is friendly firing itself into its own downfall. They managed to make their own camels route by firing into their back. My left flank, I'm just waiting for them to move into firing range. Come the Gurkhas. Kill their general. Oh, they're not got fire will on. Okay, we're gonna need to pivot quite bad because these guys are gonna be very These guys are going to... Well, they might get a lot of kills. Hindu warriors. Send another line of infantry into the flank. Nope. I want to win on the left so I can push on the right. I want to win on the left so I can push in. It's gonna be a melee. It's gonna be a morale chain. Let's see if any of these men can come back. into the seat warriors they haven't really got much of a choice it's a big old melee fight this isn't going well at all tactically I should have probably let them gain um, let them gain uh, what's it called Algiers
So my men are going to hold off for as long as they can. But damn, Gurkha's rock. So all these men can do is just try and hold the militia are dying. Sikh warriors are winning on the left. Royal Indian Guards charge the Islamic Swordsmen. These guys are not doing as well as they need to do against those guys. the Gurkhas. This is not going well. Yeah, this is a loss. Okay, everyone that's not dead. This is everyone. Go. Everyone needs to book it. Let's speed up time so I don't have to witness my own pain. Let's hope they're not as effective at fleeing, at chasing down my men. This I am of theirs. Ah, this is a bad loss, but we shall get through this, because next turn we got fire by rank. And I think in my head, I was kind of thinking, yeah, <laughs> in my head, I was kind of thinking, oh, don't worry, I can fire by rank. Then I was a bit <laughs> surprised, so we lost. We've not got many men at all. Yeah, it's not terrible. One more turn and we get a fly by rank and we can give it back to them. The question is, will they go west and destroy our army or go east and take Algier? You want an alliance? I think... Maybe. Now. <laughs> Even though Poland is not worth very much. Um, at the very least, they're allied with Russia. Which means we will when we eventually push into Sweden, we won't have as many enemies to fight. Uh, just auto that. You guys can't retreat. Nope. Glorious stand. Uh, this will not last. We need to pull our ships out of the ports so we can... Focus on... Okay, who, who are you? Okay, you got some guns. You guys... Get aboard. Whoa. Get around to here. So over to you guys. You guys replenish. Get to Tunis. Tunis. Don't necessarily need to be. No, we do want some infantry. Four infantry turns a lot. But I do need just a lot of infantry. Because if they march east, we might have a problem. But we've now got five by rank and. Ooh. Agents in the Bahamas. Got five by rank and we have got Division of Labour. So let's change you towards Socket Bayonet. I think we're going to need him. You guys don't want utilitarianism. Let's go for some industrial techs. I love measuring tools because they enable metal the roads, which are great, and obviously they give you just bonuses across the board. But six turns. I might go for flying shuttle. Yeah, the Bahamas were blockaded. We lost Algiers. 
the army here. Cannot. Can none of my units replenish? Spend 156 gold? Hmm, fair enough. Won't be long till they lose Trinidad and Tobago, and then the territory is ours. They're going to have to take some time to recuperate. To be honest, Algiers hates them already. So in not very many turns, we're going to have a force ready to fight back. They demand Scotland and peace. Negative. Yeah, they are going to head east. But it will not be in their best interests. Temporarily blockaded Kingston and then they left. Okay, you guys can now replenish. Curacao, you can be taxed. Antigua's got basic roads, so let's upgrade these to metal roads. Guadeloupe has a new port, so Curacao has cobbled roads. First of all, we view Tunis. We got new grand armies being built. I suspect they're probably going to rebel. They've exempted them from tax, which has helped a lot. See, if they want to send and take Malta, that's fine. I'll go take Algiers back, and that'll be that. Uh, I'd probably like... No, that's quite a beefy garrison up there. We still can't move out of Antigua, because they're only amber. And they've got this giant army here. Yeah, minus 16. So you're going to have to stay there for a bit yet. I can recruit troops to try and act as a garrison force, but they'll. you can only really do that when you're at about minus 5. Minus 6, maybe. Anything more than that, it's pretty much... You're too far away to make a difference. Haha, <laughs> you fools. They had to raid first. Let's see. This is it. The comeback is on. So they raided the mines, which we are going to fix. See, it says we've not got as much of a chance, but now we've got five by rank. I think we've got a really good chance. I don't know what that AI is talking about. But yes, we want to destroy them, drive to the west, retake Algiers. There we go, these are fresh troops, they're inexperienced. But they have training for the for advanced firing drills. Let's make my militia and my pikes be a reserve to throw into the line wherever. Okay, so the bulk of their army is over on the right. So I immediately want to drop. some of my militia back there and in my pikes. Artillery's engaging. We've got a unit of camels out on the flank. So I might put my militia into the fight. So artillery is engaging the Gurkhas. Bowmen, Islamic swordsmen, Sikh warriors, more camel gunners. 
I actually don't mind throwing militia in against camel gunners because it's a bit of a running skirmish battle. So this flank might be a bit vulnerable with all the melee infantry there, but damn, fire by rank is going to do a lot of good for us here. Artillery is doing a good amount of damage to their the core of their position. Where's my pikemen? Let's bring them up. Canister shot on the musketeers. So they've hit my militia lines and that's fine. Let's boost the flank. Let's get my general out here to help these chaps hold on. There we go. This is going to be a much different engagement. My pikemen are in. These poor souls. See, it's so much, so much, uh, that much more different. These are very veteran Sikh troops. These troops know what they're doing. To be honest, the whole unit, the whole army is fairly elite. There we go. The Islamic the Sikh warriors are beginning to oh they were a be are beginning to rout. All this militia has to do is survive. Militia routed, but that was to be expected. And they are shattered by the lads with pointy sticks carrying the day. It's colonial line infantry is the same, I just want them to hold. do with one flank crumbling even then it's not really a crumble see warriors are good but they're not good enough certainly not good enough in the face of such overwhelming firepower So the job of these pikes is to break the Sikh warriors. I want to charge my general into the swordsman here. Then go straight into the camels. Camels are coming back. Them my pikes will not want your camels, buddy. General's bodyguard chase them down, they're shattered. Good stuff.
Go on, pikey boys. Oh, the camel gun has actually routed my militia. This goes to show, can't trust my militia. Artillery, keep engaging the colonel, general's bodyguard. Pivot my infantry back. Get off a volley quick while they're in range. Range. Go on, General. Now this is where this is where my general starts to make up for it. Come on, shatter these Gurkhas. Hey, who are you? Infantry guards. Okay, now they're shattered, run away. Camels are gone, the militia came back. Reorganise my line. Triple speed and let my uh, artillery just do the work. Yeah, try shatter the bowmen. Managed to bugger that up. Bad luck. Damn right we're going to continue. Fact. Oh, they're shattered already, anyway. Try get these bowmen. Come on. Probably not want to get them, there's too many of them left. These musketeers, on the other hand, nope. It's all just the Royal Infantry Guards all the way over here. This unit to the south is already going to rout, so don't worry about it. Yeah, they're falling back. Close victory. It was dodgy, it wasn't close. We've got a lot more men than I still like, but they've only got 600 left. My men march on. Let's just take them out now. And you guys continue to march on to... Well, you chase him down first, and let's recruit some... Now, artillery and cavalry. Good. Got a large sugar plantation. Yeah, start chipping away, upgrading some of these ports, although abundant yield. You're currently blockaded. Oh no, I think I might just have to hold on to Malta. <laughs> as frustrating as it's going to be. I don't think the uh, 
Well, realistically, the only state that will probably try and capture it is the Ottoman Empire. Which is why I'm keen to not have a land border with them. Otherwise, that would just incentivize them. Uh, obviously, they just ran around. <laughs> They're still continuing to stack up the blockade, even though it's not going to achieve anything. Damn. So the Barbary states managed to rebel and take it. So let's kill this chap. Let's get you back to Tunis. So, I will need to declare war on the Barbary States. Still a protector of the Ottomans, so I kind of don't want to do it yet. Just keep an army here. Let's maybe take this galley out. Yeah, let's keep, a, keep an army here to hold the capital. Well, not the capital, but my area. I want to get Ponzio di Amico. So I do want to break the back of the Swedes. Maybe recruiting elite infantry off the bat is probably not the smartest thing to do. There we go. Let's do something like that. Because I do, like I, said, I do want to take take them to task, especially if they won't if they won't make peace with taking Edinburgh. Then I want to take Copenhagen and try get peace. Something like that. Yeah, tactical retreat. All that good stuff recruited there. Rush has taken Athens. To be honest, maybe fighting them isn't the worst thing in the world. Because they're really weak now. Well, fairly. Let's just recruit some infantry here. To act as just a garrison. And instead, let's focus. Okay, I know I flip-flopped a lot, but right now, now Russia's taken Athens as well. I think we've got to go after the Ottomans while they're weak does mean taking Algiers and Tripoli as well as Cairo and hopefully some of these interior lands. Um, but yeah, I think that's an opportune moment to end the episode, especially as I've well, I'm gone way over. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.